Sabbath and friends. You may have heard or read many stories about Peter Rabbit, but I bet you haven't heard this one of Peter Rabbit and his Brooklyn friends. One day, Peter Rabbit woke up earlier than most days. He yawned, stretched, and hopped his way to Mr. McGregor's garden. Flopsy and Cottontail, Peter's sisters, decided to follow along. Trying to be unseen in case he needed any help, because they knew Peter was usually getting into mischief. Flopsy and Cottontail loved to help others, especially Peter. That was if they were not playing with their sister Mopsy or friends. As Peter hopped to the garden, he was followed by Honey and Sunny, a mama hummingbird and her baby that lived in a treetop near Peter's burrow. They loved to sing and play as they flew around. They were always curious of Peter's adventures. But before they set off, they enjoyed a nice breakfast of golden nectar. Good morning, Peter, they tweeted. Good morning, bird, said Peter. On the way to Mr. McGregor's garden, Peter passed Miss Bear, who lived in a tree near Peter's burrow. Peter usually found her singing and looking for some yummy golden honey. Miss Bear waved to Peter as he hopped along the path, so she decided to follow. Maybe on the way I can find some honey, she thought. <coughs> so long hopped Peter, followed by Flopsy, Cottontail, Mom and Baby Hummingbird, and Baby ba and Miss Bear. Peter finally arrived at Mr. McGregor's garden and soon found himself some yummy carrots to munch on. I love carrots, said Peter. By the carrot patch was a freshwater pond. Peter saw something swimming in the pond and became very curious. There he found Mrs. Shark, who lived in the pond in Mr. McGregor's garden. What are you doing, asked Peter. I love to hunt for fish at this time of day, said Miss Shark. Nice to meet you, said Peter. Then he hopped along. Thank you. 